Have you ever attempted to change a capacitor, an HVAC capacitor, for your heating and air conditioning unit, perhaps in the condenser outside, or for that matter, um, there, there are other types of capacitors uh, for the blower uh, motor inside, etc. But um, for this particular purpose, we'll speak of this dual run capacitor, dual simply meaning two. So you say, well, what is the one two? The one is the fan on top of the condenser that operates the condenser. Two is the compressor or vice versa. You could say compressor one, two. It doesn't matter just, uh, but anyway, dual, one, two, fan and compressor. So the question is, um, one must use prudence when attempting to change these. Number one, the getting, getting the wiring correct is, is very important. But notwithstanding, in addition to the wire, even if you have snap pictures, have drawn you a schematic, etc., you know where the wires go, etc., and you go to take this thing off, which is fine and dandy, your capacitor is bad and you need to replace it. Well, once, once replaced it, some people do not understand that this thing still holds a charge. So be careful touching these prongs. Uh, you may uh, touch down here when you remove the capacitor, but up here, if you cross over these prongs, this capacitor still may be energized, meaning it may still have voltage or something, discharge energy, which could in turn shock you. So be, be cautious, be prudent, and be, uh, be wise when attempting to do this. So what? how do one discharge it? One can take a screwdriver of sorts with a rubber handle, take the common and take the common and touch it over here with your hand on the rubber, not the steel, touch those two to discharge the energy. And uh, in respect to the other one, touch the common, touch the other one, let it sit for a second with your hand on the rubber, not the steel, and it should discharge it. And at this point, uh, the um, now there there is another tool a little bit more scientific, but basically this is a quick way that one can discharge the energy from the battery. I mean, not the battery, the capacitor, I'm sorry. And so um, just be very cautious when handling this. As far as this part down here on the bottom, you may be fine, but if you touch these prongs on the top, once you touch these prongs on the top and you cross over, you there is a uh, possibility of encountering some type of shock or some type of hazard. So um, it's nothing to really, in my opinion, to be totally worried about as long as one uses prudence and realize they're energized and the capacitor needs to be de-energized. But even after de-energizing, there's no use to touch these because you'll have a, um, say, a set of uh, needle nose pliers or whatever you're doing to put the new prongs on. You can actually do it by hand. And the new, the new capacitor may not be charged. It's the capacitor that has already run that will be charged. So just um, be, be wise, be cautious, and understand that um, it's the simple things that can protect you. So. Um, Again, to rehash, capacitor after having been used, after been electrically charged, once removed, there's a uh, possibility that it can hold a charge until discharged. To discharge, take uh, with a rubber handle, cross over the common onto one, touch it, discharge it. Take the screwdriver, touch on the other one, and touch both of those to discharge that. And you should be um, in much better shape. So, and in and, and all probability, when you're changing the capacitor, it's probably bad anyway and ready um, for the um, uh, waste. So, and a new capacitor installed. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.